everything that we use on a daily, everything that we use on a nightly basis, I'm bringing all that stuff with me for sure. And knowing that Mitchell got dismissed from the team just a few days ago, um, for you, has your perspective shifted maybe more of a leadership role, or how have you approached that knowing that there are some changes on the yeah. defensive side of the ball? I mean, I always take every day as a chance to be uh, get better as a leader. So it's just it's just time for people to step up at that point. It's, it's not always a good thing when you lose a member of your uh, of your group because it means more rest for everybody. But that's the time for everybody to step up. If you don't have a voice, it's time to uh, bring a voice. If you don't have if you don't like as many reps as you get, now's the time to get the reps and make them quality reps. Not just oh, I didn't get this many reps today. Now I'm now I'm mad. But use the reps to your advantage that you are getting and get good quality reps. So. I mean, it sucks always to lose one, one of our own, but it just means everybody got to step up to the challenge a little bit more. And last one for me, uh, we heard Coach get on you guys a little bit. He told us the defense was complaining a little bit. What was your takeaway from Coach's message at the end of practice? I mean, we all just competitive. We all real, like, we all want to win. We all want to be the best, but we got to go about it a different way. And today was not a way that we got to, uh, that we supposed to go about it. So when we when we get to Saturday nights, we, when we face that adversity, we got to stick together. We got to band together. Cause it's not always gonna go good. We're not gonna shut everybody out every play. We're not gonna get a sack every play, fourth fumble, all that, this, that, and the third. So make sure that if we do give a big, uh, up a big play or a touchdown, that we rally back on special teams because every play is a, a, a winning play. Go ahead, go block the PAT, get back, and let the offense work. So I feel like we, today was good a good uh, thing for us to face adversity. When you, when you talk about the banding together, I mean, I hear, you know, Kenny say yesterday and today, culture wins, culture wins. Yeah. What, what does that statement mean to you personally? That's facts. Culture wins because it's funny that you said that because I was writing a paper for one of my uh, soci uh, sociological theories class and I use culture as one of my topics. And I, I believe that's a great, that's a great first starting base uh, for a team, especially a, a new team, new coaches, a lot of new players. If you don't have that culture, you don't have anything. So if you build that culture, if we just stack days on top of that, we down, what, 23, 22 days, we just got to keep stacking days, making sure that we coming in, do what we need to do, get in the film room, get in the playbook, because, uh, like you said, culture wins. So once you have that base matter, and then you got the leaders who come around, fifth-year guys, senior guys, or guys who've been here through, through all the highs and lows, that that, that definitely uh, gives a good chance for us to get that new culture in and make sure we bring all the young guys up with us as well. Talking about, about culture, we all ballers. We all ballers. We all can. We all can go. I'm not. I, I got full faith in everybody, even the young guys, even the freshmen that came in. Everybody can play, and, and that's what Coach Cooper is doing good with us. Making sure we run into the ball, because even if you don't get the uh, the call right or get the alignment right, just make sure you run into the ball, because you can make an impact on any play. You, have, you just have no idea. Ball, you could you could drop wrong one way. Ball get tipped in the air, and now you got a pick. But on the stat sheet, it's a pick, but they don't know that you dropped. Like you know what I'm saying? So it's a good it's a good uh, thing that we all can go. We all got that mindset of. Like, we want to win because a lot of us are returners. So we want to win and, and just bring everybody with us. Any guys in particular catch your eye? Yeah, I'll definitely say Caleb McCullough having a great camp. That's my guy. We came in the same class together with, uh, with Hiram and AP. So that's definitely a guy who stepped up. He's got bigger. He's about 220 now. Y'all can see he's swole. So, yeah, he, he's definitely having a great camp as well as Drew Jackson. He gained some weight too. You know, everybody really trades. Uh, uh, Tate, James, everybody, could, everybody bringing their own. So it's always good to have that, uh, that progress and that growth out of the group. As a leader.